Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this video, I will cover Fibonacci series or Fibonacci numbers by using the trace table. Let's start the program. Write a program that generate Fibonacci numbers or series. Each number of this series is generated by adding two previous numbers. The Fibonacci series is 0, 1, 0 plus 1, it will give you 1, 1 plus 1, 2, 2 plus 1, 3, 3 plus 2, 5, so on it will generate the series. x equal to 1, while x less than equal to 9, print value of x, comma, and will be terminated by giving these spaces. x equal to x plus 1, this is used to control the loop because I want to execute this loop 9 times. If I want to run this program, what will be the output? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, this loop will be executed 9 times. Now suppose I want to add 2 plus 3. Just I want to show first 2 and then I want to show the 3. How I will do it? I will write first equal to suppose 2 and last equal to 3. What I will do first, I will get the, I will add into variable add. How can I add? By using first variable plus last variable. Okay. Value of first plus value of last. Okay. It will give me addition of two values. And here if I will display the result of add, what will be the output? 555. Five, five. Always it shows me 555. Five, five. But what I will do after printing this, if I will write value of first it was 2, value of last it was 3. Now what I want to do, I want to give this 3 value to variable first. How can I give? First will get value from last and from, la from where last will get the value last will get the value from add because in add is the addition of previous two values okay now i want to run this program 5 8 13 21 34 55 it's giving me series okay fibonacci series but if i want to start from zero and here i will write from one what happened it start from one 2, 2 plus 1, 3, 3 plus 2, 5, 5 plus 3, 8, plus 5, 13, 13 plus 8, 21, so on. It starts to give me the series of Fibonacci series numbers. Okay, now what I will do now, um, I want to display 0 and 1. For that case, what I will write, I will write here if statement. I will say if I will control first two iteration. How I will control first two iteration by the value of x. I am writing here if x equal equal to 1, then you will print value of first. Control C, control V, print me value of first variable. Okay. What's the value of first? First variable value is 0. L if, if it is not first iteration, it is second iteration x equal equal to 2 then what you will write you will write control v print sec last number this is last and value of last is 1 and after this else if it is more than third more than two iteration mean suppose this is a third and so on next iterations then you will work on these values and we have already checked that these values are working fine with the if you are counting number from 1 to so on okay this will be every time okay this will will be executed every time because this the purpose of this statement is to control the loop now i want to run this else i did not put colon in front of else statement 0, 1, 1 plus 0, 1, 1 plus 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21. Now, here if you will change the value of 9, you will get the sequence. Okay. Now, suppose if I will write 15. Now, 
this iteration this loop will be executed 15 times now value of fibonacci numbers or fibonacci series to start from 0 to 377 now students here i will show you working of this program how this program is working i have taken the variables and conditions those i have used in my program okay let's start x equal to 1 then first variable will get value 0 next last variable will get value 1 here condition is testing x less than equal to 9 value of x is 1 1 less than equal to 9 yes condition is true next it will check another condition if x equal equal to 1 value of x is 1 1 equal equal to 1 yes then it will print the value of first variable and value of first variable is 0 after this it will move to the increment in variable x and value of x will become 2 it will it will test the condition again 2 is less than equal to 9 yes it is true then x equal equal to 1 value of x is 2 2 equal equal to 1 no then it will skip print first comma end this statement will be skipped no it will check l if x equal equal to true yes it is true then it will print the value of last variable the value of last variable is 1 then it will increment in value of x and value of x is 3 3 is less than equal to 9 yes condition is true 3 equal equal to 1 no 3 equal equal to 2 no then it will move to the else part because first two conditions have been false then it will move to the last else part add equal to first plus last value of first is 0 and value of last is 1 it will add and it will store into variable add now value of add is 1 it will print the value of add that is 1 then last is assigned to be first variable the value of last is assigned to be first variable that is 1 the value of add is assigned to be last variable that is 1 next it will increase the value of x by 1 4 is less than equal to 9 yes it is true 4 is equal equal to 1 no 4 is equal equal to 2 no the value of add will become 1 plus 1 2 and then it will print value of 2 on output screen first will get 1 and last will get 2 it will increase value of x is in 1 that is 5 5 is less than equal to 9 yes 5 is equal equal to 1 no 5 is equal equal to 2 no add will get value 1 plus 2 equal to 3 the value of add will display on output screen that is 3 first will get 2 and last will get 3 value of x will become 6 6 is less than equal to 9 yes 6 equal equal to 1 no 6 equal equal to 2 no value of add is 2 plus 3 will become 5 and it will display 5 on output screen then value of first is 3 value of last is 5 value of x will become 7 7 less than equal to 9 yes 7 equal equal to 1 no 7 equal equal to 2 no the value of add will become 3 plus 5 equal to 8 and then it will display 8 to output screen and first will get 5 last will get 8 and value of x will become 8 8 is less than equal to 9 yes the body of the body of the loop will be executed 8 equal equal to 1 no 8 equal equal to 2 no the value of add 5 plus 8 equal to 13 13 will display on output screen first will get 8 and last will get 13 it will increase by 1 value of x will become 9 9 is less than or equal to 9 yes it is true 
the body of the loop will be executed again. 9 equal equal to 1? No. 9 equal equal to 2? No. Add will get value 8 plus 13. It will give you 21. And 21 will display on output screen. First will get 13. And last will get 21. And then value of x will become 10. 10 is less than equal to 9. This condition is false. Okay. And loop of the body of the loop will be terminated from this point. It will move to the next what statement you have written after the body of the while loop. Thanks. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Jazakallah khair.